Hey guys, it is Moonsault Stables back with another video. So I know we are just a couple weeks after Briarfest, but I still don't have any of my Briarfest ponies yet outside of what I got from my VIP swag box. I'll go ahead and link that video in the cards up above if you haven't seen that quite yet. But what I have gotten in the meantime, I finally, finally got my fire heart in the mail. So I'm going to open him up on camera for you guys. I am so excited for him. Uh, this is Fireheart is the first release in the 2021 premiere collection and just I am so excited for him. He was, I generally always join the premiere club in odd numbered years. But this year I especially wanted to join just because of Fireheart. He is just absolutely stunning just in photos already. I'm so excited to see him in hand. Plus he is sculpted by one of my favorite uh, hobby artists. He is sculpted by Raven Maddock, which you can see on the back here, this kind of gives a little information both about Fireheart and about uh, Raven Maddock, his artist as well. And again, I do genuinely love this artist and you can see that because I already have a whole bunch of Raven Maddock sculptures, both uh, lots of medallions that I have. I have a couple painted ones that I have had a chance to finish this year. And then I also have in progress medallions. I have totally unpainted medallions that are still waiting for clothes. I have a lot of little micros here, obviously still naked. I have a lot of naked resins. They all need clothes still, but I love them. They are gorgeous. But yes, I have those little naked micros. I have a full 3D sculptures. I have a couple of these fjords. I have some uh, little buckers from her that I absolutely love and I am super excited to get paint on these guys. But anyway, since I do have all of these sculptures from Raven Maddock, I was very excited when I heard that she was sculpting as part of the Premiere Club for 2021. So without further delay, since Fireheart has already been quite delayed this year, he was originally scheduled to be released sometime in May, but due to some unforeseen shipping issues, he didn't actually release until July, and then he was stuck in the mail for a while coming to me, so he's even more delayed coming to me. So let's go ahead and finally get him open so we can finally see him on video and I can see him in person and I am so excited. All right, so first of all, like every Premier Club model, he did come with a certificate of authenticity. It says a bit about him in here. It's just stuck in plastic right now. I usually keep these in their plastic just so, and I keep them in places so I don't lose them. <laughs> but yes, there is that. So let's go ahead and actually open him up now. I will definitely say that even though he's only in his bag right now, I can tell he's going to be a big boy. He will be a very large model and I'm excited to see kind of how big he is because he definitely screams more like drafty kind of Mustang and I'm very excited to see him. So let's go ahead and open him up. All right, even with his tail and his head still in bubble wrap, he's already gorgeous. I'm already absolutely in love with this color. So let's finish this up and hopefully he's all in one piece. That's always the most terrifying part about getting these guys. I'm always so scared of one coming broken. So let's go ahead and check them out. All right, and officially here is Fireheart. First model in the 2021 Premiere Collection. He is simply stunning. Like, I love him so much. <laughs> I know I don't need any more stock horses in my collection, but I absolutely love him. I think Briar did a just fantastic job 
bringing him from a resin prototype to plastic. I think the paint job is amazing, the detail is fantastic, and he's got some very minor, like, normal factory flaws that a lot of people have been noticing, the biggest one being in his mane here. He's got some uh, seams, but those seams can't really uh, be gotten rid of. <laughs> Those kind of have to be there in order for Briar to be able to mold a mane like this. So that's not something that I consider a flaw and is something that I'm totally fine with. And he does have like just a teensy bit of kind of like overspray on his mane and tail. There's a teensy little shiny mark right here, but... I can get rid of shiny marks and I don't mind overspray, honestly. I think he's just, just beautiful. I have no words. <laughs> I think the color is just perfect and I love, love, love this face. He is so cute. He's a grumpy boy and I love him. Oh, and my camera doesn't even want to focus on him but he's even got kind of an open mouth, which I am very excited to see what customizers do with that open mouth. Because we don't see that a lot from uh, Briar models is that open mouth. I know uh, the Ashquar mold has kind of an open mouth as well. So you can kind of see on this guy, but other than that, I can't really think of any other briar molds that have open mouths. So I think that's really cool that they were able to do that on Fireheart. And then as you can kind of see in the camera that keeps auto focusing on me, I need to fix that. But he's got some kind of very faint dappling, which is just perfect and I want more dapples like this from Briar. <laughs> and then he's got some masking on his markings that are just very well done. Just love that face. He's just so cute. And then he has a nice shaded mane and tail. Now his mane and tail are pearly, but I don't have a problem with that. I honestly like the pearly models. I think they're really fun. I know not everybody likes them, but I enjoy them. So I will take it where I can get it, especially where it's nice and shaded, like on this guy. Yeah, I'll just kinda show him off a bit to the camera. He's got big chunky hooves, big chunky striped hooves too, which I love. So yeah, here is a fire heart. I finally have him in hand absolutely love him. Let me know you guys. What do you think of Fireheart? What colors do you want to see Briar do him in in the future? I am very excited to see what original finished colors we may see from Briar in the future on this mold. I think he is just absolutely stunning and I will for sure be buying more of him. So <laughs> definitely keep an eye out for those in the upcoming years on him and hopefully I will have my Briarfest models in hand soon so I can do some more unboxing videos with those. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to be able to see those once I have my Briarfest ponies in hand and I will see you guys in my next video.